Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Georgia and this is Gabby. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is our second video of the day. The day. Of the day. But yeah. So I actually got this one from someone who commented because oh. it was recommended to oh. me. And I was like, well, and then I searched it and it's at two minutes and 24 seconds. And I was like, nice, short and sweet yeah. one. It's called Harry Enfield. I think that's how you say his name. Women know your limits. So I guess it's just about women knowing their limits in whichever way. I don't know. <laughs> whichever way. It's a nice, short and simple, hopefully funny thing to watch. We'll see. <laughs> we'll be the judge. <laughs> I will decide if it's funny. <laughs> but yeah, let's get on with the video. <laughs> An ordinary dinner party, the sort of occasion we all enjoy. The men are exchanging witty stories. And look at the women, aren't they pretty? Look at the way they laugh, they're delightful. But now the conversation turns to more serious matters. I wonder if the government should return to the gold standard. I think it should. Good, then we're all agreed. But oh dear, what's this? One of the women is about to embarrass us all. I think the government should stay off the gold standard so that the pound can reach a level that would keep our exports competitive. The lady has foolishly attempted to join the conversation with a wild and dangerous opinion of her own. What half-baked drivel. See how the men look at her with utter contempt. Yeah, they were going home. See how the men look at her with utter contempt. Yeah, that makes it look at his face. That is a look of utter it's contempt. It's because it's got some like, it's because you think it should cheer, but it started off with the music mm. and then it just comes in with like his sarcastic tone of like, oh, look, like a dinner party. Yeah. You know, it's the sort of occasion we all enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I would learn. It's a bit like a wild and dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just like it, right? Because it's just funny and sarcastic <laughs> and you know. <laughs> It's just a good way to just bang you straight into it, isn't yeah. it? With just like the sarcasm. Because I think sarcasm is a good way to just like... A little bit of British humour. Yeah, British <laughs> if, it, if, this does, if this doesn't represent, you know, <laughs> British humour at its finest, then you're welcome. <laughs> Any Americans watching, this is British humour. Sarcasm. Slight bit of posh accent, <laughs> you know, because I, I feel like every other country thinks that that's what we speak like. You just put the posh accent on. It makes it like sound more funny. Queen. But the thing is, it's like, when you hear like a commoner being like rude or <laughs> What? Like a common, you know what I mean? And you're speaking, yeah. just the way you do yeah. <laughs> No, but do you know, like when a commoner is like being sarcastic, it's like, it's funny, but it's not as funny as when a posh person uses their like posh words to just like be sarcastic oh no, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Well, look what she's That's trying to embarrass do. us all <laughs> we're just like oh look like a comment would just be like oh look at that bloody idiot like what are you doing and they're just like oh look over here you've got Daphne and then <laughs> I wish I could do a posh accent but I can't just got to practice Got practice. Practice but yeah I like it so far I'm mean, gonna have no idea what's going on sorry this place is cracking me it's up like, that's why I'm going to look at you now anytime you speak. Oh, cheers. Like, <laughs> with utter contempt. Utter contempt. <laughs> See how the men look at her with utter contempt. Yeah, they were going home. <gasps> Women, know your limits. <laughs> look at the effect of education on a man and a woman's mind. Education passes into the mind of a man. See how the information is evenly and tidily stored. Now see the same thing on a woman. At first we see a similar result. But now look, still at a reasonably low level of education, her brain suddenly overloads. She cannot take in complicated information. She becomes frantically and absurdly deranged. Look at these venomous halidans. They went to university. Hard to believe they're all under 25. Yes, over-education leads to ugliness, premature aging, and beard growth. Maybe we better leave oh uni. God. We've got to leave uni now. We're screwed. <laughs> We've had two years of education and oh my God. We're going to look like that by the time we leave uni. I think it's a good thing we're doing drama. Because we're just... <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't require a lot of information. 
<laughs> it's just pretending really to be no someone else. Sort. Do you wanna, no, but do you want to know why I like it? Because I feel like it's ta- taking a topic that people usually just argue to like its death and make it like miserable, like, mm. oh, you know, that whole argument. But I feel like when you add like comedy to a topic that people. It's just, yeah, it's just the whole like man and woman argument, pretty much. Just like, just the jokes of it. I just feel like it makes it funny. Mm hmm. I just love I just love when it's like underlying comedy over like a situation that yeah. people can controversial comedy. Can't yeah, and controversial comedy. <laughs> but you know, it's just I find that's a, that's the funniest comedy though. Most comedy I watch, when it's controversial, I find it the most funniest. Like yeah. all the comedians I watch, when it's controversial, I'm like <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> I can ramble about this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like it though, it's funny. <laughs> Look at that moment. <laughs> All of that. <laughs> Just like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, over education leads to ugliness, premature aging, and beard growth. <laughs> now let's see the proper way. Good. So we're all agreed. We should return to the gold standard. Oh, I don't know anything about the gold standard, I'm afraid, but I do love little kittens. <laughs> They're so soft and furry. <laughs> What a delightful thought, you dear, sweet, fragile little thing. <laughs> Women, know your limits. In thought, be plain and simple, and let your natural sweetness shine through. So, yeah, I think that's the end. That was a good little recommendation, wasn't it? Yeah, short little clip. Short, sarcastic, got a bit of humour, got a bit of controversy. Mm-hmm. We like it. It's got a good... See, that's... The thing is, though, it's just it's because it's put together well. I feel like I like it when it's just you know someone sits down, they think of a good little skit, and they just put it yeah. on, and it's just. I'm good. impressed as well that like even though it's in black and white, I'm still like engaged because usually a lot mm. of black and white stuff, I'm just kind of like, oh, it's old. <laughs> yeah. I just get, I, I just get a bit bored. I'm like, mm-hmm. okay. and especially when it's like they've got posh accents as well because you think mm. like, oh. It gives me like, even though it wasn't a silent movie, it was giving me like silent movie It was vibes. the expression. That, yeah, was like, like, yeah. <laughs> just like. <laughs> but yeah, I like it. It was a good bit of comedy. Mm-hmm. Like it, good little skit. Short and simple. Banging. 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 But yeah, that was our video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and please turn on the notification bell. Bye!